What made you move away from Houston? Like, why did you come to Atlanta? Get my nigga Elias with you. You probably up next. So get my nigga, get my nigga Elias, 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 Elias with you. You probably up next. Night runs into morning. Man, y'all already know what's going on, man. Big gang in the building. Yes, sir. Man, y'all already know who we got with us. You already know who we got with us. Yes. <laughs> hey, man, what about my boy? Oh, it's your boy Chris Gill. You get what I'm saying? Hey, subscribe to this channel right now if you're not already subscribed. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, link is in the bio. Hey, oh, you know what? Go ahead and ring that bell right there. Punch it. Swing on it. Kick it. Bing, bing, bing. You know, ding, ding, ding. You know? Fight yeah. night, but you already know what's going on, man. Are we going today? We're gonna do a story time. So basically, man, the story time is basically how we met and stuff like that. You do know what I'm saying? <laughs> we college boys. We, we college boys. You do know what I'm talking about. So um, actually, we met at GSU. You dig know what I'm talking about? I had transferred to the school from um Kennesaw. That school, I wasn't riding with it, man. It wasn't the move. But I had transferred to GSU, and I'm like, yo, man, like, I want to be able to. I want to be. I want to. Um, what's the term called? When you when you work with other people, I want to network. I want to network. I want to network. I want to build something for myself. I want to say, you know, what? I want to do something completely different. So I seen my boy Gilly and his own little crew going. On. I was like, damn man, these these dudes are tight. <laughs> these dudes are tight, man. man. So basically, at my school, I went to Georgia, uh, Georgia State. You know, so basically, what was going on? I was always been the cool kid. You know, I was was the cool kid on the block. So you got your fellow member right here, Shrum. You feel me? He was. He seen he was new to the school and stuff like that, so he tried to like, you know, like you try to spin on our block. So yeah. He wasn't supposed to be on the block. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was so basically assert, like, I was, like assertive. He started himself into the group, so like back then, as you can tell, I used to dance. You dig? But I'm not a dancer anymore. But um, I used to be with my boys and stuff like that back in um, college. Chill on all the parties, no cap. Every party, like <laughs> circle, dance circles, and everything. You dig? So. You got your fellow member Shrem, you feel me? And I seen this dude, I was like, he had a green bandana. You had that green bandana on. And he kept interrupting like the dance session. Every time y'all had like a whip circle, y'all be like, ugh, oh, I would yeah, jump over there. Like, and I, hey, you know what I'm saying? I really himself. couldn't dance like that, like that. I was, was just terrible. I was just hype. I so couldn't dance. So he was coming there, sweaty and all, like touching everybody, like ugh. rubbing on people and just like that. And we was like, yeah, I was, I was new to the game, who is man. This, who is this new bug? You feel me? Who is this bug? <laughs> man, new, new drip. New <laughs> drip. You know what I'm talking man, about? Man. Yeah, who's this new drip? No, you you know how, like, all right, basically, we was in, like, basically, we was in our little circle, and then, you know, a little cockroach started coming. You feel me? A little cockroach oh started coming. <laughs> That's not what happened. What happened was these dudes was missing the last key of the team. The last key of the team they needed was, you know, the person who was, like, like the, the goo that keeps everybody together and like yeah. like creates a situation where everybody becomes more creative. So like, boom, he started coming around and stuff like that. Oh, well, I brought a, a camera too. Yeah, you had a camera. I ain't got so a camera. That's like he was with the camera. We were making little short movies and stuff. Short little clips and stuff. He yeah. kept like you feel me. He kept like coming around and stuff. He started coming to my apartment. And yeah, then we used to throw crazy. parties every weekend, every day. Bro, oh my god. And you gosh. started like you feel me staying at the crib. Most. With all the college memories and everything that I thought of came from this just that apartment. If y'all knew who I was, if y'all like been around the parties, y'all already know. I'ma just pass it to you. Yeah, you do. I'ma just pass it to you. Recording music all night and stuff that. like that. And then we started linking up. So basically, after we did the little college stuff like that, basically, a couple people two. we know. You feel me? Couple people two. know. Couple people know. Yeah, this was switched a, up on it. Yeah, know? it was a big split. It was, it was a big, big split. split. Everybody team. split. In a group, you feel me? So the people I was with started not like you feel me. They done switched up and stuff happened like that. They became they the artists out. themselves. They did their own music. They did, they did their, their own, own thing, you videos, me? everything. And like me and him was the type of people like I always been hungry for something. You yeah, me? yeah. And yeah, nobody was really it. wasn't like as hungry as us. Period. Like not even close. And all my close friends came and really vouch for that. So basically, what was happening is like we split up and like. You know, most people get mad. We didn't even get mad at the fact. Yeah. Like, I really didn't like get mad. You feel me? Spend no energy, no Spend time. Spend no energy mm -hmm. or, like on the negative energy. I already know positive vibes only. So basically, what happened at that? After this big split and everybody just started going we their started own working. ways. started working. Bro, when I tell you, me and him oh went my crazy. Gosh. Oh my god! We went crazy. You feel me? BET Awards. Um, we went nuts. We went to every concert. Every, we went to every backstage. Yeah, every concert. We did 
everything you did was Birthday that every everything every that event. has happened in Atlanta, we took over, we did it. Y'all saw us at every event. And then you saw us with everywhere. You did. That would happen and then I started doing YouTube. And when I started oh, my that YouTube was channel, change. you feel me? The Cloud of Atlanta YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, the Cloud of Atlanta. That was the, the big change. And um, he stepped, we started ahead, bro. We took a long bro, hour. We, we used to be inside that study, the editing lab, for 10 hours straight, just editing and no editing cap. and editing. So that's and editing. the background of the Cloud of Atlanta thing. I was doing hella videos, editing the videos all night and stuff like that for y'all. And y'all could tell for the day ones that have been there, y'all know I was in there doing like the edits. You feel me? I had like the real good edits. And then. All of a sudden, I met my roommates, you feel me, my close friends, um, Carmen, Corey, and all of them, King and Neat, and then they was putting me on game, like, hey, bro, start, you feel me, start editing on your phone, you feel me, it'd be, like, help you. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Put the videos out more faster, you instead of faster. being in the uh, editing room on the computer, I used to be on the computer all night, so yeah. I started doing it on my, on my phone and stuff like that, and then, boom, I, uh, you feel me, I, 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 I sleep dropped out of college, you feel me. They I dropped hey, that college. was the that whoa, he that dropped out, y'all. Like, that took what? risk in life, you feel me? It's like if you have an opportunity, you either have to go get it or let the opportunity blow past. And I, I don't like blowing 11 opportunities blow past me, you feel me? I gotta grab every opportunity, you get what I'm saying? So, boom, I had to take this big risk, yep. and then I moved to Houston. When I moved to Houston, I hit up Shrimp right before I moved out, like, yo, Shrimp, I don't know what's going on, bro, but listen. I, don't, I didn't tell nobody, like my yeah, family, was, I only called, told my family, and like my close people, like Sherman, everybody, like I told Sherman, I'm like, yo, Sherman, I'm about to slide, you feel me? Uh, I gotta take this, you feel me, opportunity, I'm about to move to Houston, I gotta just drop everything, and I'm gonna just see where the wind takes me, you feel me? So that's when I went to Houston, and then, uh, Shrem and Tay was like the only people that, that stayed like in Atlanta or like out the state from me that used to hit me up like almost every day or every week like hey you good yo what's good like, let me know when you're in the city and stuff like that so that's why we're really close right now because you feel me they just like you feel me they was day ones they didn't switch on me even though I moved and they already know like you feel me I was gonna handle business. You was out there working. Like, working the whole point was come working. back, you feel me? I'm you know gonna come saying? back and bring it back. You didn't want to come say, back so with the bag. That's what happened, you feel me? Uh moved to Houston and stuff like that. Start doing YouTube as y'all can tell y'all right now. Chris Gilly, you didn't want to say. Hey man, you already seen it. Y'all hey, seen the process. Question, I got a good question. Um what made you move away from Houston? Like why'd you come to Atlanta? Oh. Yeah, why'd you leave? So basically like I moved back home because like I don't know, like Houston wasn't like, I like Houston a lot. Houston was like where I really started my YouTube career and stuff like that, but like Houston was quiet where I can focus. Like I really want to go back to be honest. Cause I slipped I'm be honest with you, yeah. You, you did used to like, be on I it, used on to it. be able to work and stuff more out here in Atlanta. I'm like, I can't really, 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 really focus. There's so much going on out here. Too much it's events, too, much. too many conscious and stuff like that. Too many, too much access, you feel me? Too many, yeah, like in Houston, yeah. I had access and stuff, but out here, I got access, access, yeah. you feel me? Like, okay. I can pull up anywhere, I can like, unplug in. Face like, card. Every face card kind of heavy out here, but. Network strong. You did what I'm saying? So, basically, that's what happened. Like, Houston was like, I got like homesick kind of, you feel me? I got homesick, I really wanted to come home. I was like kind of mad that like I wasn't able to do a lot of stuff. I wasn't doing nothing at, in Houston. All we used to do was play Fortnite, go to the movies, go to the mall, and that's it. I mean, yeah. They take pictures. Yeah. So like, I sick want to go back to Houston for the people that want to know like, yo, are you ever going back? I just been on my mind, you feel me? Me, Tay, the whole game been talking about like, listen man, should we move to Houston for like, you feel me, a little bit? Should we, you feel me? I still want to go back, but I don't know in due time, um, I don't know, we might go. So if for y'all that wanna know, yeah. you might go to Houston, you might see us and catch us in Houston. H2. But Houston, you feel me, I had like, boy, I was homesick, I had to really get back, get back home. That's what it was, really. And you started running video with your fam back then. Yeah, then I started here. like, you feel me, then I started making, like, building my brand with my family and stuff like that. Because everybody started going their own, like, you feel me, own direction and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And like, Doing they stuff like families that people have families. Y'all know Kari and Carmen got a baby, Nick King got a baby, stuff like that. So everybody had was doing their own route, and then my people was missing me at home, my little brothers and stuff like that, and Xavier and everybody. So it was like, let me go home, you feel me? Recoup, and oh. then boom. That's how you got. And what's me. next, man? What's next? I don't know, you feel me? I've been doing, working on my music, to be honest. You already know that. Y'all don't know that. I've been working on my music. Um, I've been hesitant to drop it because I really want to come out right. You Bro, guys, me? he has bangers. 
I'm telling you, I just, radio hits. I just been working on it, but I want to come out right. You feel me? I yeah. don't know, like, I don't want like if you don't come out right, they won't take it serious. You feel me? So I gotta make sure I come out right. So listen, man, music coming soon. I stay tuned for the uh, the drop of the single. I ain't gonna tell you that yet, but listen, man. Hey, man, how about this? How about we get 400 likes? Yeah, 400 yeah. likes. Yeah, 400 likes. If we get 400 likes on this video right here. I drop a date? Yeah, you drop a date. Just give no, me a date. No, 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 listen, man. I need this video to get 2,000 likes, you feel me? Oh, yeah. I need 2,000 likes, listen. Then y'all drop 2,000 likes, I will tell y'all the date when I'm about to release the single date. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's I think 2,000, 400. That's nothing, bro. That's nothing. Yeah, you right. That's like, that's like, say, let's, let's put it like this. You being a roach, eating a crumb. But why would eat a crumb when you can have a big piece of cake? Big facts. You feel me? Yeah, you be good with so, cake. So, listen, man, I want 2,000 likes, I'm going to release the date. And that's basically it, you feel me? That's what, that's from like this beginning, how we met, you feel me? How I moved to Houston, how I love Houston, and how I'm here, you feel me? Back that's how I'm back in the A for right now. Yeah. Um, you never know, I might stay out here, you might catch me in Barbados, you might catch me in Kutakanta, you might <laughs> catch me in um, Bally Bally, you feel me? You don't know yet, man. Hey, y'all just gotta stay tuned and take it step by step with him every day, man. Y'all subscribe to his channel. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Go subscribe right now, man. Turn on post notifications. We got so many more videos coming. And hey, man, y'all stay tuned. We got a big future coming your way. Yes, sir. Big gang in the building. Yep.